Alright. It's going to take me a while for me to comprehend what just happened. Okay. Well, even though it happened yesterday, uh, but yesterday Israel time, I'm talking about the senseless attack. Now, Hamas and Israel uh, have uh, been attacking uh, before, but Hamas has just done the wrong thing. Now, Israel is our, is our strong non-NATO ally. And, uh, well, we have NATO allies, and we have non-NATO allies, and, uh, and then on top of that, Israel is the Holy Land. Um, Israel was uh, promised to uh, God's chosen people, and also Jerusalem, you know, Bethlehem, where Jesus was born, and Jerusalem, where uh, Jesus did most of his ministry and also was uh, crucified for um, crucified for us. And then he rose again in three days. Well, when I heard this, I was so mad. I, okay, I, I didn't find this out until, see, I still have a problem with my phone, okay? And then I was both at getting ready for games. And then while I was uh, trying to contemplate uh, about transferring next week, where I don't, I still don't know whether it's going to be transferred tomorrow or sometime in the middle of the week. I don't know. And there is, the, 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 I think I did uh, see somebody else came in uh, as I was eating lunch. But I am so upset. And Christians and Jews, uh, we all have t- ties to Israel. We all have ties to Israel. I mean, we learned about it in the Bible. Uh, may learn about it in uh, uh, Jewish manuscripts, and uh, or uh, I did. and we all just got to be upset, you know, the, the, those that are believers in God. I mean. There were people who died in that attack. Uh, there's unconfirmed uh, 600 people who had Israelis was killed. And then there was uh, there was women, elderly, and, and, and children that was taken as hostage. Uh, it was a surprise. It was, it was a surprise attack. Uh, I happened in the, the, the sea, the air, and the ground. It was like it was like something out of a war movie. It was something out of a war movie. And Benjamin Netanyahu has declared, officially declared war with Hamas. It's official. And United States, and, and President Biden, old Joe, finally did something smart. He finally did the smartest thing and spoke against the heinous, terrible attack that Hamas did on Israel. And this is something that puts me over the top here. How are you going to go and attack a Bible, a, a country that is in the Bible? Christians learning about Israel for years. There, there's even Christians that even go to Israel. Okay. Churches have sponsored trips to Israel at times. I, I remember when I was in High Street. And then, you know, people that when I used to go to Wednesday class, Wednesday night class, uh, they had people that actually went to Israel and told us about Israel. And, you know, I I mean, it just made me upset. How are you going to attack a Bible country? How are you going to do that? How are you going to attack a Bible country. No, 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 no. That. Mm, 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 mm. I mean, I'm still trying to figure out. What, okay, yeah, the Bible says there's going to be wars and rumors of war. Okay, but when it happens so suddenly like that, 
when nobody came prepared, nobody nobody know what what the hell was going on. It's like, no. And you get people upset, both Christians and Jews, upset. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is, I mean, we're already involved in, you know, the U.S. is trying to send um, aid to Ukraine, but th- th- this is a problem. This is another problem. We don't have a speaker at the House. See, this was a terrible time for them to, um, um, to, for them to oust Kevin McCarthy. That was terrible. That was terrible timing. Terrible timing. And I was going to take more days to them to vote the speaker, and then and now we probably might have to wind up sending aid to Israel because uh, Israel is our closest ally. Okay, this just 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 doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. Why? 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 And then Dr. Dr. Ari was coming back, uh, just coming back from a vacation, a Fosford, her, her birthday vacation, and then had to come back to that. Had to come back to that. I mean, this is ridiculous. I might be transferred later this week, and then I have to hear, and then I'm already nervous about the transfer, and then, then all of a sudden I have to hear that. This is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. The Big D Zone stands with Israel. I, Prince DJ, Deshaun Porter, stands with Israel. Not just because I'm a Christian, not because it's in the Bible, but because it was right. It's because it's God's chosen people. It was because it's God's chosen people. The land was both the land of Israel was supposed to be for God's chosen people. Okay. That 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 really that really upset me when that happened. That real that really truly upset me when that happened. And Amaz, I hope you get what you deserve. I hope that you get what you deserve. Because that was wrong. That was all out definitely wrong. Okay. And again, I hope that you get what you deserve. Attacking them, and then on top of that, it was their their one of their many religious holidays. It was one of their their many high holy days that you attacked them. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? I mean, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. I watched that the reporter was talking on 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 this. Jimmy he had it on the MDC report when they were talking about the uh the attack on it on, on Israel the other day. Unbelievable, absolutely. Um, I, I mean, what are you trying to do? Make me have flashback of what happened on nine eleven when we was at, when we was attacked. I mean, this is ridiculous. I've already had PTSD, and now I got to be mad at the Christian. I would gotta be mad at the believer. Now I gotta be at, angry at someone who used to go to church, used to be able to go to church. This is not right. This is not right. Oof. I mean, I may not have money to send to Israel. I may not have money to help because I'm a, I'm in a, a hopeless situation. I'm homeless, but I I could guarantee you that I could send prayers. I could definitely send prayers to Israel. I mean, something out of a war movie, something, uh, you know, uh, yeah, uh, ground, air, sea, taking hostages on a holy holiday? No, 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 no. That is not right. That is not right at all. So, and like I said again, the smartest thing that Dumb Joe has ever done in his entire presidency, the smartest thing that he's done was stand for our allies in Israel. Out of everything, out of his whole entire presidency, that is the smartest thing that he ever, ever, ever done. Ever. 
I, you can't make this stuff up. You just literally can't make this stuff up. Unbelievable. Un unbelievable. Something else I had to worry about. And then we don't, I mean, we're in the middle of a 45 day, uh, 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 you know, CR. That's right before Kim McCarthy got ousted. We don't have a speaker. And then the attack on Israel happened. Now, days after the, uh, the, uh, the practice test, if you will, and it happened to him when I was doing the uh, NFL pickup. <laughs> Hamas, you just you just sicken me. You just really sicken me, Hamas. Hamas, you are fire! Get out of here!